Tonight, a story about human kindness from the owner of a funeral home on Staten Island. His name is John Scalia, and he's been there for years. And for years, he has buried homeless people and others who had no money at no charge. Since March 1st, in fact, he has been hosting wakes and burying and offering at least funeral services for the families of the victims of coronavirus for free. All of it for free. With the story, here's Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson. This will be their final resting place, Resurrection Cemetery. COVID-19 victims who lived and died on Staten Island who would otherwise end up buried at Hart Island. The funerals won't cost a penny, something John Vincent Scalia is fiercely committed to happening, has been for decades, even more so during this pandemic. It's a mission. It's like a religion. I'm giving back to the community. It's as simple as that. Part of the fabric of his family-run business, he started in 1971 giving free services for those with no family or families who are struggling financially. They get an opportunity to memorialize their next of kin, to go visit at Christmas and and Easter and uh, their birthday. But Scalia says right now time is of the essence. The medical examiner will only hold unclaimed bodies for 14 days. The next stop is Hart Island. At least six people have died from this virus. Another two most likely did. What I've been doing um, since this emergency began is working very closely with our hospitals and the medical examiner to make sure that with the volume that they're seeing and that's coming in, that we can continue that tradition seamlessly. As for the funerals in the past, volunteers would attend. That's not possible right now. But Mr. Scalia and Ms. Martin say they will be there, making sure no one leaves this world alone. The burials have been, um, interestingly enough, one of the most life-affirming. Um, because I've seen the best in people, the best in Staten Island. 